So with the cloudy conditions across the area, a few flurries coming from some of those thicker clouds, especially west of Toledo, getting a couple reports up across Hillsdale County into Lenaway County and west toward the Indiana state line. If you're over toward Williams and Defiance County, it's not out of the question. A couple flurries that are drifting into the area. No accumulation will be expected. And on Doppler radar, things will stay fairly quiet tonight. We're in the mid-20s. Napoleon and Defiance, 23 in Bryan, 26 in Tiffin. And over toward Fremont, you are at 25 degrees. Some live looks across the area. Fairly quiet from Perrysburg through Waterville, down toward Bowling Green, out towards uh, State Route 2, the Causeway Curve. Uh, there's a look towards Sandusky and down toward Finley. Roadways in good shape for the rest of that evening drive. The ice coverage on Lake Erie still remains over 80%. We are above average for the winter season, at least at this point, but we've had our issues starting Sunday, and they'll continue this week with gusty winds and above freezing temperatures. Significant ice flow risk will be expected this week. In fact, I'm counting two clipper systems Wednesday and Friday that will bring very dangerous conditions on Lake Erie. So here's a look at our hour by hour forecast. A couple of those flurries this evening, nothing that's going to accumulate. Mostly cloudy skies may just get that peak or two of sunshine tomorrow morning. And as a warm front just brushes the area, a couple more peaks of sun into the afternoon tomorrow. It will be a dry day Tuesday, so make it to the lower 30s. But here comes that cold front Wednesday morning, breezy, and that's what will kick up the winds. Chance of a few rain showers mixed seen with a couple snowflakes through Wednesday afternoon. Mainly cloudy tonight, some clearing late. Wind chills will fall back into the single digits. 13 is the overnight low. Highs expected to reach to the low 30s. It'll be a mostly cloudy day, some peaks of sunshine, but dry and cool weather. That extended 10 day forecast has Wednesday with that clipper system into the upper 30s. Chance of a light rain or snow shower. A couple flurries Thursday, right around 30 degrees into Friday. That's our second clipper system. And if things line up just right, we could get a couple inches of some slushy snow out of that system Thursday night into Friday. A few lingering snow showers into Saturday. The weekend will turn considerably colder. Highs back into the 20s and that early look toward Valentine's Day. 32 degrees a week away. Mm -hmm. Not saying to check the calendar. Just a fair warning at this point. <laughs> but 32 degrees the high on next Monday. You were talking ice coverage about normal for this time of the year. What about after getting the big snow? Where are we as far as that's concerned? First time this season above average. Are we? Mm. Pretty incredible. Yeah. yeah, when you get a foot of snow, it'll bury the area pretty quickly. And it's as Melissa mentioned earlier at five. There's really no sign that that's going to be melting anytime soon. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Chris.